Okay, so I got the clutch in the, in the bike, and uh, today I'm going to try to explain uh, how this clutch works. It's a Hayes convertible uh, clutch, and I'm going to run it as a slider. Okay, uh, so here I marked six static springs. Uh, basically, their job is to, uh, to pull the pressure plate away from the clutch. And uh, you can run six, four, or three springs depending on the static pressure that you're looking for. Okay, so here I marked uh, six arms with the weights. Uh, their job is to uh, apply pressure to the uh, pressure plate as the RPMs go up due to uh, centripetal force. Okay, in this picture I put uh, one of the uh, dynamic springs on the arms. Uh, you can run multiple springs. Uh, you can run up to six of them if you really want to. Uh, later on I'll explain how you can use them. Okay, so uh, let's put it all together. The static springs, uh, the dynamic springs, and uh, the weights on the arms and uh, see how it all works together. For that, I'm going to use a graph. Okay, so in this graph, uh, we're going to use a x axis as a RPM. Uh, positive y axis is going to be a positive force, and a negative y axis is going to be a negative force. Okay, so first, uh, I'm going to draw the torque output of the engine. Okay, first we're going to cover uh, the arms. Uh, on this graph, uh, I added uh, a line, red line, uh, is the force that's being applied to the clutch pack with the arms. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the clutch would slip all the way to about 13,000 RPM if you were going to run it this way. So on the next graph, I'm going to add more weight to the arms and let's see how what's going to happen okay so uh, we added more weights on the arms uh, and as you can see uh, in this case uh, the clutch is going to lock up a lot sooner uh, approximately 10,000 rpm uh, where the uh, force torque of the engine equal to the force of the clutch Okay, once again, uh, we added more weights uh, to the arms and uh, the clutch engages a lot sooner, approximately uh, 5,000 RPM. So uh, let's add uh, static springs to the, uh, to the next example and uh, see what happens. Okay, so I've added uh, three static springs to the clutch and uh, I've got three examples. Uh, example one, represented by a red line, uh, has no weights on the arms. Example two, uh, with the blue line, uh, represented with a uh, small amount of weights added to the arms. And example three, represented by a black uh, skinny line, uh, with more weight on the arms. And uh, as you can see, uh, first example, uh, the clutch would start slipping at around 9,000 RPM but it would never fully engage so not a good setup example number two represented by a blue line as you can see it would fully engage uh, around 11,500 rpm uh, and example three with more weights on the arm uh, would engage around 6,500 rpm um, it's probably not a bad setup now let's uh, let's add three more uh, static springs to the clutch and see what happens. Okay, so uh, I added uh, three more static springs uh, to the clutch, and uh, as you can see, uh, the setup with the red line with no weights is basically useless. Uh, it would engage. It, it would start to slip at pretty much red line. Uh, 
a second setup with the blue line uh, would start to slip at 9,000 RPM and it, it would fully engage around pretty much red line about 13,000 RPM not a good setup and uh, example 3 with, uh, with a lot of weight on the arms uh, it would start to slip at 5,250 RPM and it would fully engage around pretty much close to uh, 8,000 RPM uh, it, it would probably work so uh, that's what the uh, the static springs do to the setup so you can uh, you can change it to what works for you okay uh, in this example uh, represented by a red line I've added uh, more weight on the arms and uh, I've added a dynamic spring that hooks up to the arms and uh, as you could see uh, it, in, it it's fully engaged at 6750 rpms and it starts to slip at 5250 rpms so the engagement's pretty quick it, it goes from slip to uh, fully engaged in pretty much really quick in example number two represented by a uh, green line uh, it's got uh, less static springs it's got less weight on the arms and uh, and it's it has no dynamic uh, spring on the arms and as you can see uh, even though the engagement is about the same at 6750 rpms it, it begins to slip at 3750 rpms so the clutch engagement is going to be a lot smoother